Some additional layer features that you may be interested in are color labeling layers or locking layers. Um, there, are, there are a number of different things that you can do. Um, make sure that you are, are kind of following the learning objectives for the assignment. I've kind of gone a little rogue in these demo videos, but they do cover everything that you could do with the layers. And so one of the things that I really like to do with layers, besides turning them on and off when I'm editing them, so one way to prevent um, to prevent accent to prevent um, accidentally editing something that you don't want to edit is to turn the little eyeball off and then you can't see it. And so if I'm just editing this head, maybe I'm working on the head and I'm trying to refine the selection and I'm doing different things that we're going to learn in the selections and masking layer. But maybe part of that includes using the magic wand tool to try to start deleting the outside around here. I don't want to leave these other layers turned on because as you can see, I can still select I can still select what's just on the head layer if that's the layer that I have selected. But if I have the background turned on, I really can't see. Like I could kind of blindly select this and hit delete. Like I'm selecting, I'm hitting the delete key, and I can see that I have stuff to select here. But I have no idea if I've gotten it all. And I have no idea if when I hit delete, if it actually deleted. So you can turn off different layers. And then also, you certainly don't want to accidentally do something like this, where I think I'm editing the head layer but now I'm editing the background layer. And if I hit delete, I'm going to delete that part of the image, turn these guys off so you don't see that. And because it was the background layer, um, you can't just delete it, you have to replace it with something. And so by default, it said you just wanna use the foreground color. And so now I didn't mean to edit the background, but I did by accident. Let's undo that. And so, so what you can do to prevent this is you can turn off all the layers so that they're not visible if you don't want to use them. And see how I was on the background layer when I tried to select this area and it got this weird amoeba shape? I should know something is wrong because if I'm only on the layer with this head on it, I shouldn't be able to select more than, than the visible image area. And so what I'll do is I'll go back to the head image, make sure I'm on that layer, and now when I use my magic wand tool and I select the delete key, I can kind of go around the image. I'm kind of just I'm rough cutting it at this point. Um, there are better ways to, to get rid of this, and we will learn them in uh, the lecture on selections and masking. But for right now, I could just be doing this to get rid of all of the image. I'd have to zoom in to do a better job. Um, another way to prevent accidental editing of areas that you don't want to edit are to lock your layers. And so if we do the same thing, so maybe I want to zoom in here and I really want to get, whoops, that's not the zoom tool. I really want to get these little areas of, of active image area that I missed because I was zoomed out too far. I may want to lock these other layers just in case I think that I might accidentally edit on them by accident. And you can lock layers by selecting them. You can select one or more layers. You can even select a layer group if you want to. You can go to the layer menu and then choose to lock the layers. And you'll get a little dialog box. For now, for our purposes, just select all. Um, these check boxes will make more sense as you get better at using Photoshop. And now all my layers plus my background, which is locked by default, are locked. And even if I accidentally clicked on it, I would not be able to make a selection. It will not let me because that's a locked layer. And so now I could zoom in and I could try to get rid of, with my head layer selected, I could try to get rid of the rest of these images. If you ever see the screen kind of light up, it means that you basically selected everything you don't want to select. And so you can do Command or Control D to deselect and you can try again. It happens a lot with really thin areas. You think that you got the area that you wanted, but really what you did was you hit outside that area. And then I could come through, see it happened again. And I could come through and I could try to get all of these other pixels selected. We'll learn a bunch of different ways to make that selection, but that's one way that you could lock the layers. I also like to color label layers. Um, it could be as simple as saying, like, this layer is good to go, it doesn't need any more editing, or red, stop, take a look at this, or, or I'm visual, so if I'm editing just this layer, I might right click on it and make it red, and so it stands out amongst the rest of the layers. And so I know that's a layer that I'm editing. And so when I'm not paying attention, I kind of click out over here and I change my tools. When I come back, if I need to select a layer to be editing, I know it's the one that's color coded. It doesn't have to be red, it could be different colors. 
If I was 100% done editing these three layers, maybe I would right click and I would, whoops, I guess you can't color code them all at once. I could color code them green and say those layers are good to go. I don't even have to worry about them anymore.